Loktarogar. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blah here, everyone's favorite orc warrior, and it's time for another orc mode workout. And, uh, you know, typical workout for me. I bumped the pause squats up a bit, although that third set, I didn't end up doing all five reps. I just kind of got uh, just fatigued. Um, I was up a little bit late last night. I've been having some stuff come up where I've been up a little later on Sunday nights than I care to be. And so, yeah, I'm getting a little fatigued and having to nap sometimes <laughs> after these Monday workouts. But, um, you know, I'm still knocking them out. Uh, for those curious, I'm down to 218.0, so no change on that. Uh, I'm hoping hoping to cr crack down to 217 by the end of the week. You know, we'll take it from there. And, uh, yeah, like the cut's just coming along slowly but surely. You know, I mean, it, it's not going to be fast because I'm trying to maintain all my muscle and strength. And uh, notice the belt's a little tighter there because uh, I moved it in a notch last week. But definitely feeling it squeezing me today. Got that little bit of skin and fat rolling up over it. Uh, you know, it's perfectly acceptable. Eventually that'll be gone. Who knows, in another 15 pounds. <laughs> you know, I'm not even worried about it. You know, that's the thing, guys. This is it's all about the journey, not the destination sometimes. You know, everyone's like, well, when are you going to be finished with that cut? It's like, when I'm finished. You know, it's like I'm not in a hurry as long as I'm consistently losing body fat and I'm able to still perform in the gym and I know I'm maintaining muscle pretty good. Uh, it's all good. You know, it's all good. Because, uh, again, it's, it's all about lifestyle at this point anyways. You know, and, and we've got to sometimes for those of us who are pursuing this stuff as a fitness lifestyle, sometimes we can't get so hung up on time frames for a certain result when you're not in a competitive environment i don't have a powerlifting meet coming up i don't have a weight class selected uh, i don't have any of that i don't have to worry about that so for now it's just about can i just keep getting leaner uh, to be healthier to be more athletic uh, to be more fit and uh, as long as we're seeing continual improvement you know that that's what matters that's the name of the game Again, it's because I'm older and I, I've been around all this stuff a lot longer. Um, sometimes people need to understand when you're younger that the long game matters more. Get in and consistently do your work. If you know you need to lose body fat, reduce your calories a little bit. If you need to gain weight, up your calories a little bit. Don't get in a hurry with any of it. Take your time with all of it. You know, the time is going to pass anyways. Uh, so you might as well just try to use it effectively and uh, try not to get yourself hurt. Try not to rush things in a certain way that, that compromises your results. You know, it's all about lifestyle changes. It's all about the lifestyle changes. So paw squats went pretty good other than that last set. I was just kind of like, eh, my quads were done. So I think I racked it early. Uh, flat bench, close grip bench went okay. And so, yeah, I mean, really, it's, it's all just mostly dead stop training other than those two uh, arm exercises you know, which are still done as a compound. So it's like, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get my pause squats, low bar pause squats, uh, close grip, pause bench, dead hang weighted pull-ups, and then deficit beltless deadlifts with a hook grip. You know, those are my four main lifts, and then the others are just kind of accessory stuff, you know? They're accessory for the most part, arm accessory, because my arms are, are really my, my weakest body part, um, and they need the work. And that's not just, again, as I said, an aesthetic thing. That's a performance thing. I mean, that's what people need to realize, you know. If, if you look like you have an imbalance, you possibly have an imbalance. It's going to affect your performance. You're going to have, that means you've got weak links in your kinetic chain. And, you know, those things need to be resolved. Uh, they need to be resolved. Plus, you know, if you're going to look like an orc, you've got to have thick arms. You know, that's just part of being orky. you got to get that orc mode physique. So, uh, you know, the close grip was good today. Nice, good pauses. Sinking it deep in the chest. Uh, but yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm only using moderately heavy weight on everything. None of this is just all out. And that's good because I feel like at a certain point uh, with the cutting, you know, hitting the heavy singles and maxes and stuff, it really, really, really drains me. And I feel like, again, just this nice, moderate, mostly five rep stuff. You know, with a little bit of the singles on the deadlift, but mostly five rep stuff, a little more on the arm things. Uh, full body three day a week. You know, I feel like it's so manageable when cutting. And and truth be told, you know, uh, like kind of the stuff I'm doing right now. I mean, all of you guys out there, you know, who are, are following your own journey, this is sort of training you guys can do in a normal life situation, you know. Because you can come in and you could do one of these workouts uh, in an hour. This would take about an hour. I spread it out because I'm at home and I have the ability to do so. 
but you know you could do this at home inside of an hour for most of you and uh, it, it's uh, not really a big deal you know you guys could do that you just have to take no break between exercises so from one to the next and and I think that's good for the fitness channel you know instead of me trying to do this all-out stuff that I would be doing for powerlifting meets uh, which again I'll have to go back and do some of the Bulgarian style aspects of this if I, if I do compete again and I mean I probably will I mean it's fair to say I'll compete in powerlifting again at some point um, I, I know myself and I know that I will let's just be honest here I know I will eventually uh, but, you know, I got to go back and do all this base building and recomposition and everything first, and, and that's fine. You know, but the thing is, the training like this is manageable. This is something that most of you out there could do a style of training like this, and you could get good results on it. You guys notice I'm retaining muscle pretty well, retaining strength pretty well, while even in a caloric deficit, you know, the, the scale is coming down. I've lost a considerable amount of body weight. I mean, even with this style of training, again, I'm down like 12 more pounds, you know, and most of that's fat. I haven't really lost, I don't think, a significant amount of muscle at this point since I was at 230. So, you know, it's mostly body fat. So, you know, if it can do that for me as an older advanced lifter, you know, a training style like this, a lot of you guys could make gains doing this. You could be at the gym. You don't have to live at the gym. Come in and put an hour, hour and a half in three times a week. You know, it's efficient. It's all just meat and potatoes exercises. All the basics. You could do this sort of stuff with just a little bit of progression mixed in or, you know, even a little bit of wave loading and a little bit of periodization. Uh, this sort of training could be done. It could be done year round by most of you. Um, and so that's kind of what I like about what I'm doing right now. Not only these good muscle maintenance while cutting, um, this is a style of training that, that the majority of followers could absolutely implement if they were so inclined, and they could get pretty good results doing it. Um, but yeah, the pull-ups were pretty good today. I mean, I felt them a little bit. It's like today I didn't want to add weight because again, it was I got a little less sleep than I wanted last night, so I realized a weight increase on these pull-ups probably isn't in the cards. Um, it's not in the works today. So, um, you know, but these were good. I felt like I got a good amount of workload a good burn even just doing the same weight even though i think last week they felt a little easy i was almost like i need to add another five pounds today i didn't feel that and like i said it has to do with just daily individual fatigue and recovery so uh, i didn't feel that way today and that's okay uh, but you know all went well um, and like i said I, what i'm trying to do as you guys notice when i get to this last set each time i try to hold it at the top for a second or two and then get a little bit of a slightly slow eccentric just to make sure that that last rep uh, is, is challenging and uh, again working a few more muscle fibers and it does need to be noted some people be like well you know i don't think it's that much weight with your body weight and it's like well guys you got to remember i'm doing these dead hangs and some of these are paused at the bottom it's not the same as the people who aren't locking their elbows at the bottom makes it a different lift and it, it brings more muscles in like getting that bottom stretch is really what activates again some of your upper chest uh, long head of the tricep things like your intercostals you know it's like i was talking about uh, pullovers earlier the only reason you guys would do pullovers would be to work a lot of those same muscles you can get that from your pull-ups you know and that's that's the point that needs to be made uh, deadlift, I only videoed my peak set because I didn't need the rest of the footage. So we, we got plenty of footage with just the one rep. Um, so again, my one peak set and the hook grips working out nice. You know, I mean, I feel like uh, my hook grip is improving and over time it's going to get there. You know, we're going to get to that 600 pound hook grip. It's going to happen. You know, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I know that if I just keep doing this, that 600 pound hook grip is in the cards. Um, and I think that'll be good. I think that'll be nice to demonstrate. Um, you know, for me in my 40s, get to a lighter body weight, you know, 600 hook grip. I think that'll be respectable. I don't think anyone can really diss that. So, uh, so I'm going to keep working towards it and keep working that hook grip. And then I did my cheat curls. I did cheat a little more on these today. I felt like that normally there was a little bit of swing, so they are a true cheat curl, you know. And uh, it's still a compound movement because of the shoulder movement. And I went up on weight just a hair, so they were a little harder. I definitely felt them today. I could tell that this was, that I added five pounds. It felt like more than that. But again, it could be the residual fatigue from the other stuff and everything else. Uh, but yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So uh, this finished up my workout, my six list for the day. 
So I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.